I got a, another package. So let's uh, let's find out what's on the inside. It's a flash drive, according to the note, and it's definitely packed really well. Uh, bubble wrap protected. Then the unit is in a bubble wrap envelope. This one is a SanDisk Cruiser, uh, but it looks like somebody tried to fix it before. I'll show you what it looks like, um, and we're, we're, we're gonna have to just redo the soldering. In the other hand, I have a working flash drive. It's a verbatim, and most likely it has been sent to for the data transfer. So thank you very much for sending it in. Then I will uh, fix it up right now. Especially that I got another flash drive for the same reason that I got to fix this morning. So um, probably just gonna put it on a quick screen capture. All right, so here is the device. As you guys can see, it's made by SanDisk. SanDisk. And um, this is what we're dealing with here. See, all of these pads are busted. They're all broken. So, um, just gonna go ahead and cut these anchors out so this clears up the pad a little bit and uh, let's have a look. So we got four pads that are entirely missing. Okay, there's uh, the power, data plus, data minus, and the ground. Very easy repair if you have the right tools to do this. And um, the right tools would be a soldering iron that is uh, that has a precise tip on it. Uh, you need a microscope, and I'll show you why you need the microscope once we get to this one. And then here, looks like the guy was working without the microscope, but this will need a microscope to get this fixed. It will need a little bit of flux, it will need a little bit of solder, and what else? And it will need a new connector, okay? So, uh, it will need a new connector. which I got a little bit off. Connectors for everybody today. Okay. So, we need to basically attach um, individual pins, individual headers of this connector to where they were supposed to originally go. But the problem is, is that pads that was supposed to be um, accommodating these headers are no longer in place. We don't longer have them. So how can we go about the situation? We can either clean up some partial areas right on the leads, or we can actually solder them directly to where they're supposed to go. I mean, for me, it doesn't really make a difference how to do it one way or the other, so I'm just gonna brush up the the leads a little bit and just um, wire the headers directly to them okay so as you guys can see what I'm doing here this pad when it ripped it was supposed to link up with this line right here okay so we're just gonna remove the mask from this line ever so gently using a microscope definitely helps with the uh, precision and we got to do the same for uh, for the other three pads no well we don't really have to do it for the ground because we can just use this pad here for the ground because that's on the same plane 
or this one doesn't matter but just um, to make it nice and even we, we're gonna clean up this surface here and we're gonna do the same for for these two but to have them not side by side I'm gonna remove that piece and I'm gonna probably mount it somewhere around here and I need a new blade for my knife that's for sure alright so the next step is we're gonna take this flux I'll drop a link to this stuff in the description and we're gonna just add a little bit on those surface pads that we scratched up. This is what it looks like now. And right now it's gonna get loud, but I'm gonna put some music on the background for you. There's only about 600, roughly 600 megabytes of files on there. Okay, so now we can disconnect this unit. And connect this one. And let's see what went wrong on a previous attempt of this thing to be recovered. Basically, it's the exact same case because if we look at every pad, it's just, it's missing, it's not there. So I'm gonna cut this and this. The, this is the kind of stuff I would be worried about. You see this? This capacitor is basically shorted. So whatever the function of the capacitor was, uh, it is no longer the same. All right, let's try to fix this. I think it still has life in it. Something is not right. Let me check resistance on this um, resistor here. One point one. And what do we have on the donor? The yeah, one point one. <clears throat> All right, that's not a resistor. So this this is why it's not working, guys. Um, on the flip side, look look what's happening here. We got a little bit of a problem here.
I could have made it look a little nicer, but this video has been way too long as it is. So let's try it again. Something tells me this time this LED will light up like it's lit. And it's not. The repair on the second unit was a little bit of a fail and I'm a little disappointed uh, because I couldn't find out what was um, damaged on the device and uh, I didn't have a compatible donor to um, just simply do the memory transplant from uh, that damaged device onto a working one in order to get access to the data. But uh, with, uh, with the main <laughs> moment of failure uh, I bring you a moment of uh, redemption and we're going to try to still recover this information just directly off of the chip. One little issue that we still have to do before I can start saving the data even though the structure is visible and the headers check out uh, good for majority of parts. Uh, there are some sections that uh, using the um, uh, read retry uh, set to 12 did not fix and uh, running um, a combined read retry uh, on top of the 12 shows that the 17 will take care of it. So for the little sections of red blocks that are still existing in uh, our uh, image, we will have to um, perform the reading with the read retry set to 17. That will maximize the green block area and hopefully it will improve some of the little folders that are flashing with the red um, header currently and it, they will change their color to green so the positions will be lined up with what they're supposed to be. Um, I really hope that you guys like this video. This was kind of cool to show you all aspects of the recovery. I wish I had a, well look, if I had a donor to swap the memory chip you wouldn't see this technique. Um, but uh, it displays pretty much two um, methods that uh, send disks would go through if I get them. Majority of them come in with broken connectors. It's like a flaw that send disk flash drives have. And it's fairly easy to deal with as long as you got the good tools uh, that are capable of performing that precise work. Recovery off the chip is slightly different thing. It's, uh, it's a bit more time consuming and it does uh, require a little bit of patience. So uh, hit like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Description box and our contact info is gonna be there or just call this number on the screen and uh, we'll help you out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.